everybody. Welcome to another handheld game review. Today we're going to take a look at Star Trek 25th Anniversary by Konami. This game came out in 1991. So that's about 25 years ago from today, meaning that this is now the 25th anniversary of the 25th anniversary and I'm getting older. And it runs on two AA batteries. This is a talkie game. It'll say things like, beam me up, Scotty, and fire photon torpedoes. And there's actually a story. You've been sent to a distant planet to... Uh, perform an emergency evacuation of some of the residents and the Klingons are attacking you and the game is divided into two stages they repeat for three rounds I think if you complete all three rounds of the two stages your game ends but I'm not that good to find out if I can do that in the first stage you're going to use a d-pad the left and right to move shields around the Enterprise as it gets fired upon by Klingon ships occasionally your power bar will fill up and you can press this button to fire a photon torpedo to destroy one of the ships. Uh, if you destroy a ship, you get to move on to the next round. And then the second time you play it, you have to destroy three ships. And then the third time you have to destroy six ships to go to the transport round, which I'll get to in a minute. If your ship gets hit, one of your systems will be damaged. So there's five systems. If all five get damaged at the same time, your game's over, you blow up and it's glorious. So like if the engines get damaged, the power regaining to fire a photon torpedo will take a longer time. If the bridge gets damaged, shields will slow down. If your shields get damaged, they'll become smaller. Sensors get damaged, the Klingon ships will become invisible, some of them. And the weapons get damaged, you won't always be able to fire when you want to fire. But occasionally, Spock will appear, and if you push up or down when he does, uh, you actually fix one of the damaged portions of your ship. So once you destroy enough Klingon ships, which the first time is just one, uh, you get to move on to the transport round. You'll see the Enterprise moving around a planet, there's a little bar. Once you're over the bar and you have at least two bars of power, you push this button to beam up uh, one of the residents. But there's also torpedoes firing at you that you have to avoid at the same time. And that basically is the game in a nutshell. So let's go ahead and turn it on. You can see got the on off button. It says engage Star Trek pause sound. This is a loud sounding game and an off button. So let's go ahead and zoom in. I'm waiting to have power. Okay, now I can fire. It is really hard to hit these ships. I got some damage. Oh, but I did I fix my sh No, I didn't fix it. I thought I pushed into Now my shields are smaller. I'm about to blow up. Getting closer. You can see I lost several. And is that it? It is. And look at this. This is glorious. That explosion's really good. But I didn't do too well. This The first stage I find is very hard. I got zero points. Let's go ahead and try it again. I know I have been able to get to the transport stage, and I do want to show you that. There's my high score at 1760. So you basically have to predict where they're going to be to get to, oh, didn't count. I tried to heal myself. Spock appeared, but it wasn't good enough. 
more damage. Oh, got one. There you go. Now I'm orbiting the planet. You can see that line. Once I have enough bars open, I got hit. My systems don't get damaged in this one. They just... Oh. And you can see the people beaming up down there in the bottom left. And there's a countdown in the top left showing you how many people I have left. I'm not doing well with the Spock bonus. That's not logical. You don't have enough power. Oh, got it that time. Got it. Got the healing. Got damaged, but I only needed I only need one more person. And with eight seconds left, I did it, and I tied my score of 1760. So there you go. That's Star Trek uh, 25th anniversary, hitting warp speed again. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, this was a gift to the show from Willie from Arcade USA here on YouTube. Be sure to check out Arcade USA. Go ahead, click like, and subscribe, and I will see you next time on the next episode of the Nose for Gamer. See you guys.